Airbus Helicopter's new H160 medium twin is making its U.S. debut. Prototype number two, known as PT2, arrived in Las Vegas for this year's annual Heli Expo show and is on display before embarking on a three-month customer demonstration tour. Of course, we are excited. Um, we are expecting a lot from that demo tour, in fact. It's more than a demo tour. Uh, we will uh, display the aircraft at Heli Expo first, then for some customer flying in Vegas. We will move the aircraft then to uh, Dallas, where FA will fly the aircraft for a while. We will also uh, use that opportunity to perform additional development flight and finally a flight test campaign to open what is remaining regarding the flight envelope for hot and high operations. The European Airframer is planning to complete certification and entry into service next year. So we expect to have issued by the end of the year the majority of the certification file. Uh, it's about uh, 1,000 documents, you know, that we will have to produce. So most of them will be available at uh, IASA by the end of the year and there are some uh, tests uh, remaining that will be performed in the course of first term of next year that will make the cert certification happening uh, only around uh, mid-year uh, mid in 2019. And then the entry into service of the first helicopter is planned for the, the end of the year. And that first helicopter is currently uh, assembled in uh, our uh, final assembly line in Marignan the airframe has arrived at the end of Jan. Maintenance demonstrations of the H160 have been performed at the show to illustrate how maintenance has been optimized as a result of the helicopter's design and new processes, including the Operator Zero campaign. So the aircraft has been designed to be easy to maintain with uh, the same type of effort uh, as uh, we, we do on a light twin, that is to say less than two uh, hours of maintenance per flight hour. There is no uh, maintenance action except refilling the engine oil before 50 flight hours. And even a pilot will be able to do it. There is no dismounting before 1,000 flight hours. Airbus is taking advantage of new manufacturing techniques to make assembly more efficient. Production is really key. It's the, the cornerstone of the pro pro program. And uh, we have invested a lot in uh, designing a new industrial model, which is based on the manufacturing of modules, which are fully equipped and tested before to join the assembly line. And the lead time in the assembly line is reduced to 40 days, whilst the lead time be between the date where, the time to market, in, in fact, between the date where uh, the configuration of the aircraft is known and the customer is leaving the factory with the helicopter is reduced to 24 weeks. It used to be uh, twice more on the existing range of helicopters. The aircraft features an all-composite airframe, flat floor cabin, oversized cabin windows, and a baggage compartment that can hold 661 pounds. Its cabin can be configured to seat four or eight passengers in executive layouts, or 12 in a utility configuration. The H160 also incorporates a variety of new technologies, among them Blue Edge Active Tracking main rotor blades in a five-blade system with a double-sweep design that reduces noise and contributes to a smoother ride, and a 10 to 15% better fuel consumption than the H155 family it replaces.